I am thankful to God for his grace on my life. That's why I'm here in your midst today. I thank my district, SCOE, for all the support, all the encouragement they give me every day to do my job well. I thank my colleagues, my principals, former, present, my paraeducators in my class, and even the parents of my students. And most of all, I thank my family for their support and love every day. Um, I believe that teaching is an act of love. If you love what you do and you're passionate about teaching, it's easier to motivate students. It's easier to look beyond their baseline and help them learn and improve. And at my district, I have the I've had the opportunity to teach students who have severe emotional disabilities. These are students who have been very unsuccessful in their parent districts and they refer them to us to help them to improve. These students have seen the worst of the worst. They've been on the streets, they don't care about education and it's very hard to motivate them. And they are looking at a teacher who loves them, who cares about them, who means what they say. And I'm glad to be that teacher. I, I, had, I taught a seventh grade class uh, for five years uh, and is at a school with uh, students with severe emotional disabilities in my district. And I saw that first time teaching that class, I saw that some of these students did not want to learn. And they may have played that game in their former districts and that was the reason they did not succeed. They wanted to be sent out of class so they could get out of work. And um, I tried it and I thought to myself, I'm here to help them learn. I'm here to prepare them for their high school exit exam. If I keep sending them out of class because of misbehavior, they're not gonna learn. I will not be successful. So I decided, I had students who would come in and they wanted to sleep. So I decided, I told the class, if you come into my class and you sleep, I'm not go going to send you out. I will start singing. And <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you continue to sleep, I will dance. <laughs> they thought I was joking. So the next day they came to class. Three students on the front row started sleeping. I stopped the lesson and told them, I said, guys, your friends are sleeping. I'm going to start singing. And they were all looking at me. And you can imagine seventh graders, everything embarrasses them. <laughs> so I started singing. And you should see peer pressure in action, but in a positive way. And so they said, wake up, wake up. Two students woke up, one continued to sleep. And I said, now I'm going to start rocking it. So, <laughs> so I continued and I started making dance moves. So some of them got up and almost pulled him out of sleep. And that was the end of students sleeping in class. I think that Teaching should be made fun, uh, should be made a fun activity. When students know that you, are, you have that interest in them, that you're patient, and that you care about their future, they will listen and they will learn. I am happy and proud to be a teacher, and I'm happy to be one of those who will help shape, shape our future generation. So I thank my district again for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much.